Welcome everyone to the Blacks and Technology Security Plus video podcast. Uh, I'm Greg Greenlee and I am going to be talking to you about the Security Plus uh, certification CompTIA. Uh, we're going to start, um, we're going to actually be using the uh, Security Plus Get Certified, Get Ahead Study Guide by Daryl Gibson. This is the book that I'm reading. Uh, right now to uh, try to obtain my Security Plus certification. And uh, we're going to start off with uh, Chapter 1, which is an introduction to core security principles. Uh, and we're going to start off with uh, what they call CIA. Uh, I'm actually going to introduce another element to that uh, in. So it's going to actually be C-I-A-N, or you can rearrange those and make it C-A-I-N. Uh, so that it's easy to remember. So CANE, uh, that stands for confidentiality is the C, A is availability, I is integrity, and N is non repudiation. And I'm going to use this segment to actually go over which each, uh, what each one of those actually is. So we're going to start off with the C, confidentiality. So basically what is confidentiality? Uh, confidentiality is preventing unauthorized access or disclosure of data. Basically, no one should have access uh, to information that they shouldn't. Uh, this is very important because you don't want anybody snooping around, uh, gaining access uh, to and seeing information that they shouldn't have access to. So there are several ways that you can achieve uh, confidentiality. Confidentiality, I'm sorry. One is through encryption. Uh, you can use encryption to actually scramble the message so those with, uh, with uh, access uh, could uh, decrypt uh, the message uh, to be able to see it. Uh, authorization and access, uh, that's basically uh, you are granted uh, access to it if you are authorized as an authorized user uh, to that information. Um, that is achieved through permissions. Uh, you have permissions in, in, in uh, Nix systems, Unix, Linux, Windows, uh, almost every operating system out there has some form of permissions uh, that you can set on files, folders, and whatnot. Uh, and actual, there's actual physical uh, confidentiality that you could achieve uh, through the use of uh, locking mechanisms, uh, key cards, things like that. Uh, next one we're going to cover is integrity. Uh, integrity is basically incorporates mechanisms to ensure data has not been tampered or altered. Uh, this is actually achieved through, or it can be achieved through hashing algorithms such as MD5 uh, and SHAI. I'm sorry, SHA1. Uh, and basically, we'll get into what hashing is later on, but just a quick overview. Uh, the hash is created at the source using an algorithm that's sent along with the data. Uh, the received message is then hashed with the same algorithm algorithm and then compare it to uh, that uh, hash data that's sent it, uh, with that uh, message. And if they match up, then you know that the, uh, that the message has not been altered. If they don't, then you know that it's been altered and you know that you probably need to have somebody resend that data. Uh, one good program to use for uh, integrity uh, is Tripwire. Uh, I know that you can actually uh, install that on Unix or Linux. I don't know if you can actually use that for Windows. I'll look that up and I'll get uh, to you uh, next episode uh, to verify that. Uh, next is availability. And that is the data or the services being available uh, when you need them. Uh, that can come into, in the form of uh, all types of redundancy. You got disk redundancy in the form of RAID. Uh, so if one of the hard drives in your server uh, go, uh, uh, goes down, uh, the other drives are uh, actually still functional and you still have your data intact. Uh, server redundancy, that could be achieved through uh, clustering. Uh, you can cluster web servers, you can cluster databases, um, you can use active-passive uh, clusters, so if one uh, of your uh, servers in your cluster goes that goes down the other one actually comes up to take its place uh, so that there's no interruption in service there's site redundancy uh, you can have uh, for instance uh, cold hot and warm sites uh, the difference being that cold sites uh, have some of the equipment uh, basically uh, site redundancy is having uh, uh, a site 
operational in case your main site goes down. Uh, with uh, with code sites, that's actually done uh, with you have some of the uh, of the actual hardware. Hot sites is actually a dead-on duplicate of your main site. In warm sites, you have more uh, uh, of your hardware and, and things like that uh, at the, uh, the the other site. Uh, the same as you would have at your main site. Um, not everything, uh, it's just a warm site. So you, you're not going to have everything identical, you're just going to have uh, some things. Uh, the next one we want to cover is non repudiation. And non repudiation is basically uh, proof that, uh, of a sender's identity, and it's used to prevent a person from denying that they performed an action. Uh, digital signatures is uh, great for this type of thing. Uh, if you digitally sign a, an email, uh, it's hard to refute that you actually sent that email because you should be the only one uh, that should be able to uh, digitally digitally sign that email. Um, <clears throat> audit logs. Audit logs can uh, can be used as well uh, for um, non repudiation uh, because if you look through the audit logs, it'll actually track who's who did what on the system. The only thing about the audit logs that uh, that can that I have a problem with is that um, if someone steals your the password, uh, uh, username and password on the system, they can actually get on the system and begin doing all wreak all types of havoc on that system, and then the audit logs is only going to show that that person was logged into the system, but that person could have been anybody. Uh, plus, logs can be altered as well, uh, so. Audit logs is, you can use it for non repudiation, but audit logs can be altered. Um, if a hacker gains access, a lot of the times what they like to do is just get rid of the audit logs altogether. So, uh, those are the f uh, four uh, main parts of core security principles C, confidentiality, A, availability, I, integrity, and non repudiation. And we'll get into um, more of the Security Plus book. We're going to go chapter by chapter. That was just part of chapter one. We're going to have a continuous series of the Security Plus um, a series uh, so that um, you can get all the information in the book and follow along. Uh, if you have the book, you can follow along with me in the videos and uh, we can both learn together. So thank you. That's all I have for now. And tune in later uh, for more Security Plus uh, goodness. So thanks.